So the answer is duloxetine. We'll just throw that one out there for you right away. The reason why, that was a little bit of a trick. It's slightly unfair. So because of the risk of serotonin, then naturally you need to stop the duloxetine and there's just no way around it. And how do you stop the duloxetine? Well, you taper it down and you're gonna need to be off it for five half-lives, right? Remember that from the old days? So how long does it take for any drug to reach a steady state? And it's not a matter of days, it's a number of half-lives. So you see the little bit at the bottom, if you're using a drug like fluoxetine, it's more like five weeks that you need to wash out of it. Otherwise, the vast majority of the drugs we use, a half-life's about a day. So most of the time, five half-lives equals about five days, or seven if you're you know, the anxious type. And then you can move on to that MAOI safely. Now, why not trazodone? Because when you're using trazodone at 50 milligrams for sleep, it doesn't really do much on CERT. You're only making a big impact on histamine. So yes, trazodone is an antidepressant, and if you were using it in the north of 150 milligram range, then yes, you would have wanted to wash that out too before you started MAOI. But at the 50 milligrams, 100 milligrams, what's kind of commonly used, I know that there are people out there that go higher than that when they're trying to help somebody sleep, and I have too, and you want to consider that. But in this particular case, the trazodone was not a big deal. In fact, right, and Dr. Cutler, my new nemesis, mentioned this in his last talk about, well, during the question and answers about bridging agents, and you absolutely don't want to get burned by what I like to call a sedative deficiency. So when you're trying to wash out of some medication or switch to any other medication, a drug like trazodone can be a winner to help people get their sleep, feel more calm, feel more sedated while you're waiting to start your other drug or while you're hoping that the other drug's gonna start to work. And gabapentin, pregabalin, you know, interesting ways to do that, stimulants to move somebody over, atypicals, except some of them, so watch out for that serotonin and norepinephrine. And therefore, we already know that answers three and four are not right, because they couldn't possibly be right, because trazodone is not one of the answers.